Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a disassembly video of the MI beard trimmer. So basically I was doing a waterproofness test of this and I threw it in the swimming pool and it uh, now what's happened is it's working. So uh, you see that it's, it's working right now but I cannot switch it off. So now I'll have to open it up uh, to remove the water uh, before the battery actually overheats or the motor overheats. So let's go ahead and uh, clear out the water and uh, open it up and then see how it actually looks like inside. So to open this up, basically we'll need a star screwdriver. So we have that here. There are two screws over here and there will be two at the bottom. But to get to the bottom one, I'll have to remove the bottom part first. So I'll be showing you how to do that also. Now idly, while doing this, the trimmer should not be on. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is we cannot switch it off so don't have much of a choice so that's how it is so you see water has gone in over there so let's keep this aside now this has to come out we have to remove these we have to remove that now idly these things are stuck so you will have to force it out okay so that's how this one will be removed now we'll have to remove these two screws that's a very dangerous thing uh, opening devices while they're on I will not recommend that but right now I don't really have much of a choice now we'll have to remove this knob now that is going to be a task I'll just have to pull it out I don't want to leave a mark, so I don't want to use a knife, but right now, okay, okay, I'll find that later, okay, so remove this screw also, oh, I don't need to remove that. So basically I'll have to push it from here, but I don't want to use any sharp thing. Okay. Hmm, so the button has to be removed also. Okay, so that's it. So you see the entire thing has water in it. So that's not the waterproof part. The waterproof part is this. So this is supposed to be waterproof. So water should not go in. So you see that seal over there. But you see water has gone in. So I'll have to open this up. Let me wipe it off first. Okay, so just be careful with the small, small parts. Everything will keep coming out. Like this. I don't think I need to remove this. But anyways. Okay, so now I'll have to remove these. Okay, so moisture has gone inside it. So do not throw it in the swimming pool. This is wash proof, but do not put it in a place where there's water pressure. So I'll have to wipe this off now. Okay, so it's switched off now, finally. So now the motor has heated up a little bit, but one thing I really liked about this is that uh, even, I mean, it was on for almost one hour. It kept on going for one hour. Uh, so uh, the battery life went to the second one. And it was, uh, the, the heat is not that much, as in it's not heated up that much. I was afraid that this is going to heat up, uh, something's going to happen to it. But uh, nothing really happened to it. So I'm really impressed with the quality here, the build quality. I'm uh, not that impressed with the uh, waterproofness though. So there are two uh, clasps over here which is holding it down. So I have to remove that to actually remove the board. 
uh, I think the battery is soldered onto it so you can't really do much but at least I can remove it from here okay finally okay whoa there's quite a bit of water in here so water actually reached till the battery that's dangerous uh, so they should do better waterproofing with the battery area and you see this sponge is full of water so I'll have to put this in the rice now my same old method okay so the trimmer was in the rice for around 14 hours so I left it there, I didn't take it out in the morning also, I took it out uh, after some time. Now uh, the water is completely gone. So once the water is gone, uh, all you have to do is make sure that the rice is not stuck anywhere. So I had to clean it up, there was rice stuck here, so I had to remove that. So once all the rice is removed, then you can put it back. Now this is pretty simple. So basically the powers, the plus minus is over here, which goes on to the uh, port over here. So it's it's a clever design, so all you have to do is Keep it there like that now you have these two clasp over here you just have to push it in and that's it it's done it's done from this side now we have to put the waterproof case now this one i have noticed that it's a little flexible so when you do this it doesn't go back fully so just push it in a little don't put too much of force if not you might end up breaking it don't want the waterproofness to go and then we put this back gently Okay, make sure you align it. The rubber seal comes right where it should. And now let's press it down. That's it, it's done. Okay, now uh, we'll put the buttons and this dial back. Now buttons is easy, uh, I'll show you that later. Let's put the dial back first. Now to put the dial back, keep it like this. Now there's this round thing here, this is what pulls and pushes the liver so you have to put this in first this way so just keep it there then take this slide it in over here like that and then push it down just keep rotating it till the time it gets the groove and now you'll see it's going up going down that's it so that's done now you'll have to put this mechanism so first you have to put this spring over here it has to go down there nicely over there okay then you have to put this so that it doesn't move out of its way okay so it has to go in this way that's it okay done so that's done now we have to put the button now to put the button there are two parts now this is the top part you have to align this like this there's a groove here you have to align it like this and then just push it in that's it it's done now we just have to keep it on top here and it will be done but right now, we'll not put it right now, uh, we'll put it after the case, we'll put the case first and then we'll put this. All you have to do now is push this in, just slide this in here and that's it. Now we have to put the screws here, but before that let's put the buttons back. Push this in from here, done, done. Now you have to put the knob, now before we put the knob we have to put the screw, so there's one screw here, small one. which apparently is not magnetic okay so that's good uh, so if you don't have magnetic screws that means that it's not made of uh, iron it's made of stainless steel uh, so that means that it won't rust so good at least that also has been taken care of now okay this is to the last one so we have to put zero 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 that is this one Okay, zero, done. Okay, that's done. Now let's put the screw here first at the bottom. One over here. Let's see if this is magnetic. Okay, so even this screw is not magnetic. 
Okay, done. Now we have to put this back like this. That's done. Now we have to put this one back now. Okay. Put this. Now since this is not magnetic, uh, we'll have a hard time putting this in. Ideally if you have a, a tweezer or something that will be better. I'll have to search for where the tweezer is. Uh, so I'll not do that right now. Okay, but I was able to put the first one easily. Hopefully the second one goes in too. Okay, so this is the problem that we'll face. I think I should just take out the tweezer. Okay, so I found an old tweezer. This should do the trick. So hold it like that. Align it. Put in the hole. And then just tighten up the screw. Done. Now let's put this back. Okay, so all done. So it's fixed. So now we know how to uh, disassemble it, fix it in case water goes in or something happens to it. Now you know how to fix it. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.